there's nothing between the dream that you dreamed and the reality that you're living other than your vibrational frequency which you don't practice all that well so that's really what we want to help you to understand we speak to you and if you're really new we know that even though you may be new to this for Esther likes to know how many of you are here in an environment like this with us for the first time and while you're here we know you've been listening or reading so we know that you are more up to speed than the new first time in this arena implies but we want you to feel new in the world today we want you to feel new in the room today we want you to feel new in your life today we want you to feel that light-hearted refreshed high-flying feeling that you felt when you knew you were coming into an environment like this where you knew that you would have enough variety to sift and sort from and that you would be able to come to your own personal preferences of what would be pleasing to you and you knew that universal forces would be backing you up to help you to realize in the fullest sense of the word to realize to experience fully anything that this time space reality could inspire within you so as you begin approaching life deliberately like that where you get it Esther said to three or four people yesterday and it may seem strange to you that she could come this far this long with us and be having these kinds of epiphanies especially after we've been saying these words for a long long time <laughs> but words don't teach do they you have to have your own experience in it it's only life experience that teaches strange that we offer so many words isn't it but along with these words we're offering our knowing and with that knowing is a vibrational frequency and that vibrational frequency of what we know resonates completely it matches perfectly the vibrational resonance of that which is your source so as you are in an arena like this and you feel that resonance you will be vibrationally changed you will be which means for a little while you may revert back because we can only hold you so long in this room <laughs> but you will have a different point of attraction as a result of this conversation because we will be tuning to the frequency of your core knowing and when that's activated within you wonderful things move through you and out from you and back to you it's a wonderful experience so Esther's epiphany she said to her daughter and a friend and then another friend I've finally figured it out all I have to do they laughed just like that I did <laughs> all I have to do is decide what I want and talk myself into it we have enjoyed this interaction <laughs> immensely that's everything you know also it occurred to her that as she is thinking about a future experience meaning a not yet manifested experience that those thoughts flow freely something about that future experience is free-flowing and therefore delicious to contemplate but then when she found herself trying to bring it into the now before it was ready to reveal itself to her so she was trying to figure out what to do when to do it and who to do it with and how to go about it she realized she was introducing resistance into her future idea now in and of itself that may not seem so interesting but we want to explain to you why that is such an important thing for Esther or for you to understand everything is a vibrational reality first and if you are taking pleasure in your vibrational realities if that which is your future experience in terms of manifestation but your current experience in terms of the thoughts that you're thinking if it is pleasing to you if it feels good to you if you find yourself driving and wanting to think about it if you find yourself lying in bed and wanting to think about it if you find yourself just waking up and wanting to think about it in that pure thought there is so much power and so much orchestration is taking place so Esther asked herself why would I 
why would I introduce into this moment, this clear moment where I've accessed the energy that creates worlds and I've focused it through my vessel and it's flowing outward for the creation of wonderful things that I desire. Why would I mess it up right now by getting ahead of myself? Why would I ask questions of myself to which I don't know the answers? And in doing so, introduce resistance to the equation. But you see, the reason that we're telling you this experience is for a different reason than you might be thinking. Because Esther's epiphany was not about the creation of that. It wasn't about the realization of that. It wasn't about the manifestation of that. It wasn't about the actualization of that. It wasn't about the demonstration of that. It was about the fact that thinking that thought in that way felt good right now and introducing that thought to it right now made it not feel good anymore. Can you hear what we're getting at? It wasn't about what it was going to later on create that's a given what it's going to later on create is for sure for sure for sure there is nothing that you cannot be or do or have if you want it and you talk yourself into it we just want you to understand that you are the creator of your reality but you are a thinker of it into being not a doer of it into being there'll be plenty of action that you'll be inspired to but that's not the way you create you create through the conscious flowing of thought so when Esther came across this because she's been determined we've been talking about getting on your high-flying disc we'll talk about it a lot today waking up first thing in the morning and before any worrisome thought or any troublesome thought or any past memory or anything that could muddy your waters begins to just proclaim to yourself and to the universe that today you are anew you've pushed the reset button you are like reborn and today right now in this moment you are in a high flying vibration because in this day you have not yet introduced any resistance into the equation and you didn't carry it over from yesterday that's the most important thing that we want to say to you during the night you stopped the momentum as you slumbered so when you awaken in the morning you're in that high-flying place for sure if you will focus there and allow yourself to be there we'll talk more about how to get there Esther said to us the other day Abraham I refuse to accept that if I wake up in the morning and I'm on my high-flying disc and then something occurs to me and I begin to ponder negative things and then I lose my connection to that high-flying feeling I refuse to accept that I have to wait clear until tomorrow morning to get back on and we say you don't have to wait clear until tomorrow morning to get back on there are all kinds of tools it's just easier first thing in the morning and so Esther's been playing that game every morning waking up and it's quite funny because she's by herself and so she awakes and then she announces to herself I'm awake <laughs> like somebody in the other room needs to know I'm awake and I'm coming in I'm coming in and I'm high flying so get ready <laughs> prepare yourself for the silliness or for the fun or for the high flyingness of that which is me because that's where I am and that's where I mean to stay so as she has been for about six weeks now waking up in a really steady determination to be high flying and then doing her best to stay there we've been saying to you that 17 seconds begins another new momentum have you been hearing us say that so Esther says to herself if anything occurs to her that's a slight deviation from feeling good she gives herself 17 seconds to get over it 17 16 15 she told a friend the other day I have something to tell you and I only have 17 seconds to say it in so I need your undivided attention because this is going to be fast so since Esther has been playing this game where she's been really decided determined to get on that high-flying disc wanting very much to wake up there acknowledge that she is there and then milk it as best she can in order to stay there every morning more momentum every morning more momentum every morning more momentum and by that we mean more momentum in her ability to wake up there and stay there longer the first day she didn't even make it till breakfast second day either by the third day she was doing better and better by the first week she could maintain herself there by the second week she was so looking forward to going to sleep so that she could wake up knowing for sure that she was there and as the weeks began to move past she began to notice that her days were affected in this really powerful way this is what Esther discovered as a result of this exercise that she applied deliberately she felt 
clear-minded. Clear. Clear. She knew what to do. No confusion about what to put in the suitcase. No confusion about what to pick up and carry to the other room when you move from one place to another. No confusion about what to say when you're talking to this person. No confusion about what you mean to convey relative to this. Confusion gone and clarity in its place. Ah, <sighs> do you know how good clarity feels? And then she thought about what it must feel like for the astronauts to be in those rocket ships and be shooting through the atmosphere out, out, out. She's seen the movies, have you? It looks hard. <laughs> the tension of the rocket. There's so much resistance as it is moving at that speed through the resistance of that atmosphere and then boom, they break out of the atmosphere. And everything is silent and easy. And Esther said, I broke out of the atmosphere. I left the resistance behind me, mostly. <laughs> At least I know what to do. I can have that free flowing. So as she's been experiencing that and loving the feeling of clarity, knowing with certainty that the decision that she's making about this is the right one, no longer second guessing herself, no longer going, well, let's weigh the pros and the cons. Let's torture me as long as we can under the guise of being objective. And we say, let's not. Let's think only about what you want and why you want it. Why introduce into a perfectly wonderful futuristic thought present tense? Why introduce the reality? A lot of people want more money, but introduce the reality of not enough money to the equation. Why do that if you understand that what we're talking about is breaking out of the atmosphere? breaking out into the clear space what we're talking about is the feeling of clarity the feeling of alignment the feeling of knowing the feeling of well-being the feeling of love the feeling of ease the feeling of passion whether it's passion or ease in the clear space with no resistance is delicious just depends upon how much momentum you've got going on the subject at hand yes so you're sort of getting what we're talking about. Esther's epiphany was about understanding that life is right now. It's now. It's just right now. And how you feel right now, right now, right now. This could take a while. Right now, <laughs> right now, right now. How you feel right now, right now, right now. How you feel right now, now, right now, right now. How you feel right now? How you feel right now? This is life right now. How you feel right now? And right now, you might be thinking about the future, or you might be thinking about this beautiful Tabriz rug, or you might be thinking about something that happened yesterday or 10 years ago. But you're doing it right now, which means you're allowing free-flowing energy or you're introducing resistance right now. Right now. So, yes, it's about creating. Yes, it's about what comes to you. Yes, it's about what rendezvous with you. Yes, it's about manifestation. Yes, it's about material things. Yes, it's about the money in your bank. Yes, it's about the house you live in. Yes, it's about everything. It's about everything that is tangible and visceral and personal. It's about all of those things. But mostly it's about how you feel right now. So once you play with this a little while, and we'll walk you through it, easily once you play with this for a little while you're gonna find yourself waking up and not only noticing that you're awake but reveling in the fact that you are and feeling the enthusiasm for being awake and alive and anew in your body with so many things that you've already prepaved, so many things you've already pre-planned, so many things that you've already put into your vortex, so many things that source is already on, so many things that have been orchestrated on your behalf, so many things that are all queued up, ready for you. Yes, they're going to pop into your experience. They're going to manifest. You're going to realize them. Yes, 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 yes. But it's the clarity that you're going for. It's the mood. <laughs> 